Kobalt in Ontario. First Cobalt will restart the first Cobalt refinery in North America. E-mobility is on the move as now more and more new models are available and also the battery range is going constantly up. So the world needs more Cobalt in the next years despite less usage per battery. The market today is around 130,000 tons but will grow further. North America has so far no cobalt refinery, which will be changed in the next 18 months by First Cobalt. The company signed a letter with Glencore to get it financed. First Cobalt announced as a result of a scoping study for the restart concluded that annual production could reach over 5,000 tons per annum of cobalt, more than twice the previous estimate. By eliminating the refinery's autoclave circuit and addressing production constraints, the debottlenecking study by Ozenko Engineering in Canada estimated the incremental capital cost to double production capacity will be additional $7.5 million from the previous estimate or $37.5 million in total only. Ozenko defined the production capacity capital costs and operating costs associated with recommissioning the refinery using third-party cobalt hydroxide as the primary feed material to produce a battery-grade cobalt sulfate by expanding the flow sheet circuit to optimize the existing building footprint. The discussions continue with Glencore and other third parties on definitive commercial terms for feed supply and financing to restart the first cobalt refinery within 18 to 24 months. First Cobalt has three scenarios for the restart, each assuming that the refinery would primarily treat cobalt hydroxide, creating approximately 30% cobalt. In all scenarios, the refinery's autoclave circuit is not required, thereby eliminating the first constraint to higher production rates. The first scenario is case zero, assumed minimal capital investment outside refurbishing existing equipment. The next scenario is case one and assumed an additional capital investment to alleviate the bottleneck in the current solvent extraction circuit. The final scenario, which is the one with Glencore discussed, added an additional capital investment to alleviate the liquid solid separation limitations of the currently installed equipment. The restart of the refiner is of strategic importance for North America to produce battery grade material and is a quick pass to cash flow for the company. The already existing facility is in great condition, including all necessary infrastructure. As electric vehicle demand grows, the US will become the second largest producer of batteries in the world. By 2021, refined cobalt supply may not meet demand, so US car makers would highly appreciate North American battery grade cobalt for additional supply, as this would be an important contribution to the global supply chain, particularly for the US market. Canal Continuity just released a positive buy study for First Cobalt with a price target of 70 Canadian cents. We think the restart of the refinery would bring the company immediately into steady cash flow and would finance their large cobalt exploration in Idaho too, as well as de-risking the whole company. I'm your host Jochen Steiger, Swiss Visas Capital in partnership with Dukas Copy TV. Thanks for watching us and bye bye from Geneva.